Hello everyone, welcome back to Retromancers and Happy Halloween. And what better way to celebrate the season than with a party? A monster party. This game is actually pretty awesome, even if it's not the most well-known title. I actually had to get Keith to buy it when we went to Funkaland. That's right, I was on a quest to find Millen's Secret Castle when Mike came running at me with this little baby. He was like, it's two dollars. You better get it, or else. I remember when I was in fourth grade, a friend of mine, Jason Phillips, he had this game and I'm like, what is this? And even though my TV couldn't fit the whole screen and it made no sense, it was still pretty good. I actually don't know because I still have not played the game despite your insistence. It sounds like it's time. Party time? Excellent. It makes but sense they, to anybody who's watched Wayne's World. But, but they never asked it like a question. No, they never did. So. It was more like, it is party time and it is excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. What's well, the pate? Is that like a uh, tempura shrimp tempura? I think yeah. it's just like fried shrimp. Onion rings. Onion. All right, let's do this. All right, start this party. It's looking pretty complicated uh, character design there. You can see the emotion. Just had a rough outing. His eyes melt. His member swells. <laughs> I, I don't think this is the kind of party you're thinking of. <laughs> Of that's, course. That's not a moon. That's a space station. It's, you know, when a star falls 50-50, it's either, <laughs> yeah. you know, meteorite or monster. He recovers pretty quickly, though. This guy looks familiar. He swears like a He-Man character or, or <laughs> something like that. Or Bert. Bert. It's not the Bert I remember. I'm a freaking super demon with claws of steel and crazy wings, but you... Five-year-old kid. With a bat. With your magical cudgel of justice. But again, back in that first screen where it didn't look like he did so well, so I don't I don't think Mark is the guy you want. There you go. Throwing some logic in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> guy here. I just like baseball, okay? I don't know what, the, what you're talking about. <laughs> now he's just like, <laughs> I don't I don't really vet this at all. <laughs> this is like the last Starfighter. Yeah, but Last Starfighter was good at the game. <laughs> don't, don't be judgy. This is a good time to be asking this question while you're having your Jasmine Magic Carpet ride. Who are you? Mark, by the way. <laughs> by the way, this planet we're going to... Super dangerous. This is not a place for kids. <laughs> good thing you are 35 Earth years in my estimation. I will now meld with you. Wait, what? <laughs> Sexually. <laughs> <laughs> Jump into your face. But now, they're flying while they're merging. Doesn't that affect... Oh, it's well known that merging increases your altitude by 10,000 feet. What kind of game are we about to play here? It's like blood, but yet it's curtains. It's, where is this, like Jersey? <laughs> is this where this planet is? Well, he looks like a kind of Japanese schoolboy. On the fire. Uniform. Yeah. Since this is a one player game, we're going to do this the same way we did um, Bad Dudes, where we're, we're gonna switch off on either death, which Mike seems like he's hastening towards, and new level also. So something. I uh, just... All right. Once you take the pills, you freak out and become burnt. Up, oh, coming down from my trip. <laughs> there you go. It's so cheap. Everyone knows bats are a plant's weakness. I'm just picturing him running into like some sort of plant nursery. And it's really that he's come down with like severe diphtheria or something, and he's just imagining all this, and he's just beating the hell out of like some shrubber, <laughs> some kid, and his mom. Like these are kids like trying to get to school. It's all over the news. <laughs> Bert, that's like the name of the like designer drug that's on the streets nowadays. Right. Mark's been hitting the Bert pretty hard lately. With do you have to do <laughs> do anything? Looks like a spider, but like it's got a head on the side. Like I thought a spider too, but it looks like the left side of him is like a dinosaur head, and he's bleeding out of his mouth. Yeah, like, Ooh. Whoa. Ooh. Uh, what? Ooh. Shit just got real. <laughs> you knew this was gonna happen, didn't you? I like how his hallucinogenic world goes into like a deeper state. He just got some like he got some bad stuff mixed in right now. Yeah. Or it wasn't lying. <laughs> I dig this music though. Oh, it's got that like doo -doo 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 -doo. you hear what I'm talking about? It reminds me of Ambrosia in Ultima, the Nintendo game. Let's see if anybody gets that. Is he wearing like a like a clergy robe? 
pumpkin. Yeah, he's a holy pumpkin. Spinning around head like the exorcist. Uh oh. He got roughed up. I did. And these eyeballs are gonna be right on top of me. <laughs> I can stand on his face though. Nice. He doesn't mind. Nice. And that other face looks pretty pissed off though. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> How does that even work? His arms aren't even moving. Like, do that again. He's, you know, shimmying. I don't know if that's appropriate. It's an essential survival tactic. Oh, oh, oh the hands. The hands. You're making me so nervous. Oh, my God. You got it. You got it. Oh, oh come on. Come on. No. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. You pulled that one out of your ass. I did. Ass of skills. <laughs> Form a little hearts here for a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Jarvis Scott from Sipple and Ollie. Legless dogs. <laughs> Hot legless dogs. <laughs> You're like cuddly throat pillows. You never run away. My Jarvis Scott impersonation isn't helping with my blood anger blood. here. Blood. Blood. Duck you That show needs to make a comeback. Is that one of those like British shows or something that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I think if it's like, like a lot of those early like Nickelodeon shows were. From you know, elsewhere. I don't know about that. I remember like Danger Mouse around the same time. Oh, that was from England. Yeah, um, Duckula. I'm not sure because I'd imagine it's part of the DuckTales universe. No, it's not Disney. Hmm. It was like some other form of animation. Riding on the coattails of ducks because they were hot at that time. <laughs> ducks are very hot right now. <laughs> remember that um, Danger Mouse Commodore 64 game? And all I remember was the, the mouse like bouncing up and down on like a weird panel of lights. Mm. This guy's got nothing. He's got a face full of that. I like how it's a snake shooting like either really fat snake children or slugs. I, I don't know why, but I feel compelled to keep smashing my head. Just everyone that plays this game has to do that. Just know ducking is key in this game. It'll let you avoid a lot of hullabaloo. Hullabaloo. Yes. Maybe some riffraff and Shit. hijinks. When you said riffraff, it just reminded me of, what was that show where that was the cat that was like dark? Heathcliff. Heath there you go. A riffraff. He's yeah. like, I don't know what he was doing. Didn't he have like a super hot girlfriend though? Yeah, I think they drove around in like a pink Cadillac or yeah. something from the junkyard. Yeah. Heathcliff was kind of a dick. Always like raid the fish yeah. shop and like steal his food and that guy is like, I can't live without selling this. <laughs> I think Heathcliff's girlfriend had some sweet leg warmers. Can I get an amen on that? Uh, I don't think of it. Think of it. I mean, it pink leg warmers. It would make sense. Uh, you want to duck on this and they just kind of bounce. Oh, come on, man. Those look like the transporters from the fly. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I love the part in the fly when he's like, you know, mutating. Oh, when he's like in the prime of his mutation. Yeah, but he he's got like, bar. he's got like, so like a, like a mandible coming out of his ribs or something like that. And he's like, hey, what's this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just remember the arm wrestling and he like rips the guy's like hand off. <laughs> I think we've At first he like oozes. He vomits all over the hand. We, we, I believe we talked about this already in like one yeah, of our first episodes. Repeating. What the hell's going on in Bird's Planet? I, I like how we're focusing more on the background and less on the fact that you're beating up fried food. <laughs> oh, come on, what does this mean? Literally. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> I didn't get the key for that. Is there any point in fighting the bosses that don't give you keys? Or do you have, yeah, to, or you have do you... to kill... The boss like feels it, like the key forms within them once all the other bosses are gone. <laughs> it's like Highlander with monsters and keys. Oh, oh, come on, man. What are you... I'm doing? sorry, I didn't expect it to be there. You gotta... Calm down. <laughs> Let the bat zen overtake you. I'm trying to get him up the ladder, but he's just not having any it's of okay. it. It's okay. He can swing on the ladder. Look at that. He faked me out. It's like the alien eggs. I'm falling apart. You are. Like Don't some shoot hearts. that egg, though, because Bert doesn't do well. It's like the only thing Mark is good at is egg hunting? deflecting stuff, stuff in difficult enemies. But considering Bert can fly, he can just fly over the enemies. Yes. I think I'm in trouble here. He doesn't have the distance. Right. Uh, no. It's like I just have to get close enough. This is dangerous. See, Bert doesn't die. Mark dies. Bert, he, his essence leaves and he goes back to like wherever his townhouse. Yeah. But Mark, he is dead. That's that's the whole reason why he gets other people. It's like he's done this like millions of times before. Right. Like Bert does not exist physically unless he possesses a child. <laughs> It's kind of like Labyrinth, but different. The Babe with Power? Yeah. That's who I should be for Halloween. 
David Bowie. David Bowie, Labyrinth Bowie, with the extra huge cod piece. That's where he kept the acrylic balls. <laughs> and this, when Jim Henson was in his prime his of heyday. cocaine and puppets. <laughs> Did Henson do coke? I don't know, but oh, he was a family man. Come on. The rest of the Something day. about this reminds me of um, Goonies 2 game. That's no Cindy Lauper play. Girls just want to have fun, man. It's good enough for you. What are you saying? It's good enough for me. Is that the lyrics of the song? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I thought you were just being a dick. Um, <laughs> no, I, I agree though. Like, there's nothing like that. Uh, the animatronics and stuff too. Like, yeah, because you know. when you saw them doing special effects, you're like, that was cool. And they like they sacrificed for their art. Like, you remember like the big guy Ludo? Ludo, sad. There was like the huge guy in Labyrinth. They shoot. He looks like where the wild things roam. I think or where so. the wild things are. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Like the guy who like wore that suit, he had like compacted spinal column or something. Like he had to like die for the art. <laughs> like how there's like zero frames of animation on the boss here. That's all right. But yeah, it's I think a lost art. It's now most things like ah, it's just computer CG. Yeah. I mean it can be done right. Like Pacific Rim, I thought was good. Yeah, but now it's got to be like so outlandish and awesome. Plus the actors, you know, like they they act better when there's something physically there. Right. Otherwise you end up with uh, Hayden Christensen. Is that like what happens when everything goes wrong? Like it yeah. just becomes Hayden Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> he was so bad in the second movie that it made me literally want to audition for Anakin in the third movie. Like the first movie could have been okay, could have been made okay if the second movie was good. But the second movie was so bad and there was no like... Like in the first movie he's kind of like a sweet child. In the second movie, he's like this whiny, angsty bitch, and it was like, yeah. where did that come from? I think what become, I mean, what becomes evident is Obi Wan is just a terrible teacher. I mean, he didn't do shit if you think about it. Like he was still a student, so. But you and McGregor is cool. But he didn't, you know, he didn't graduate from being a Jedi. He was like still training, and then his teacher I, I don't know, died. Man. And I, then you can't blame that on on Obi Wan, man. Yeah, but, hey, it's Hayden Christensen. No, it's... Oh, I'll hear you out. Hear, hear my tale. So, Obi-Wan, you know, has to assume the teacher role when he didn't really finish. So he's kind of like dropping out due to death of teacher. So now he's teaching Anakin and he turns into this whiny bitch because he treats him like shit. If you think about it, like every time you go know, like, ah, little Padawan, you don't know anything. I don't know, man. And so now he's got to teach Luke and then he does jack shit for him. He just does what, like one lesson in the Millennium Falcon with the blindfolded laser right. balls? And he deflects like two lasers. And then that's it, then he dies. And then most of it's Yoda. He and I mean he kinda didn't finish that training either, but if you think about it, Obi Wan didn't do too much except just say like use your gut. That that was Obi Wan. He said stretch out with your feelings. There's more poetry in that. I don't know man. I'm not no. buying it. Yeah, you got this. I got it. Yeah, you're done slandering Obi Wan. I like how it has the uh, like, like Japanese ghost cloud demon things. Nice and yeah, life boost. That's like Zelda music. Yeah. Right. There you go. You killed that stage. I did. Don't squander it. <laughs> But you will. I mean, you're all the way in the round section of what the, your life is in the round section. Oh, so okay. You're, you're pretty good. I'm in the Knights of the Round. Yes. Final Fantasy VII seven. Summon. Take two minutes. Oh, oh, you just jumped right into that. No, he jumped into me. There's a difference. Oh. Uh. <laughs> is he shooting cows? Yes. Um, he there we fucked go. Fucked you up. No, no, man. It's cool. And he didn't even. If I keep jumping, I'm gonna get this. No. Alright, I think you might wanna just blitz. No, I was gonna say calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do calm. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ooh. Cute generic Egypto music. I feel like I'm hitting him a billion times. <sighs> Go forth. I have like no health. So. That was kind of unfair. Second you started, it was like stalag. Oh, you, you learned me on this before, but I forget. Stalactite. C for ceiling. This reminds me of one of the Ninja Gaiden stages in the first Ninja Gaiden. You know what I'm talking about? Where you're jumping down the mine shafts after he meets with the CIA agent. Mm. CIA agent? C 
I'm gonna go pee. <laughs> Again. You yeah. think, you know, blunt object is good against undead? Isn't that the rule? Mean, you, these guys don't know when they're D&D shiznas. Monster Planet doesn't follow D&D rules. I like how they turn pink when you hit them, though. Why are you wearing pink? If I remember my Monster Party knowledge, or, like, upgrades, and I think because he melded with him, like, he is now, or it is now the pajamas. <laughs> uh oh guy's taking him. I hope that's life. Oh, nope. boy. Oh, yeah, you gotta get some life. I swear there's something about that guy that reminds me of one of the guys in Ghost and Goblins. He had a red beard, it's like a demon like that. Fucking demon. Yeah, uh, dog. Yeah. You have uh, central air in every room. Damn it. You got some serious skills. Well, I would question the uh, efficacy of baseball batting bandages at somebody. That makes sense. Nice. Nice. Clutch pill. Maybe the game is just nicer to you. Yep. Oh, that was just... A dead move. <laughs> I think Bert takes less damage, too. He's like shooting jacks at you. You ever play with jacks as a kid? Yes. Used to get them from the dentist. Is that it? That's it. Huh. That was nice. Didn't leave me to which life, though. Oh. Like that matters. What are you trying to say? This reminds me of freaking Life Force. I think it would have made more sense for the mummy to be in this stage. No, nah, man. It's not called Logic Party. <laughs> this music sounds like uh, Goonies. Definitely. One yeah. of the stages. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Maybe it's one of the caves. Can you not kill those things? The blocks? I think you can deflect into them, but they're impervious to lasers and bats. But only those things. <laughs> you think you can get there? I think, like, nothing can be important in this door, because if you fall, you're missing it forever. So I don't think they'd yeah. be that messed up. Aww. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like how you built that up. I think you just... <laughs> not even a... You know, I hit jump. the button, I swear. Not even attempt at a job. You're just like, oh. <laughs> no, I did, I hit it. You would think that if they were going to put the hieroglyphs, you know, they wouldn't, like, make them such that the heads are freaking cut off. Well, they figured, all right, we'll lay out the wallpaper first and then build from there. I'd say you blame, you know, blame the, the Ikea. Masonry. Oh, come on, uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it, give it. Oh. This is not right. I was just going to say, I don't know if items disappear, but... They very much they do. do. <laughs> no, man. I'll have you know that samurais are very fast. I think it's only the sword that I can hit. Mm, I think his legs. Oh, yes. Uh, that was his soul. It's, I was just to say. <laughs> Where's he producing all that from? Mm. Continuous stream. Feces. Poisonous feces. <laughs> <laughs> Poisonous laryngitis. Nah, I think he got to back up a bit. I think, think you better back up. Okay, <laughs> you back up with your comments. <laughs> okay. All right, just smash that cat with a bat. The ASPSCA is not gonna like this. I think I added an extra syllable in there. Just hold the bat out, that's the secret. That's just the key. boom, hold the bat out. Oh yeah, nice. Man, you gotta beat one of these stages. Shut up, man. Not all of us can monster party <laughs> as hard as you. All right, don't Dude, fuck this up. Maybe we should host a, a Halloween party and just call it monster party. A masquerade uh, ball. A monster soiree. Yes. <laughs> if you will. If you will. <laughs> Reminds me of Weird Science, where Kelly the Rock is talking to Gary's father. Nice. When no, she's like, I never you know, saw like, the movie completely. That's a mistake. That's one of the best movies ever from the 80s. I only saw, like, the montage when they create Lisa. They gonna lose that pill. Oh, no, man. It's all that patience. Yeah, but see now. No, no, I'm gonna duck. It's gonna be fine. No. What would you have me do, Michael? Not get hit by that thing. <laughs> Fly. Fly, you fools. <laughs> Alright, now oh. you gotta kill this guy, and you're almost out of Bert. I gotta, I gotta kill him before he shreds the hardest lick <laughs> in the universe. What do I do? Any, any tips no, here? Just lay down on the lasers. You have shredded him. <laughs> Alright, you got the key, so you... Just get the, get the hell out of here. Get, yeah, you can ignore everything now. No, wait, no. Well, I don't know. What's the path? I'm relying on your... Always take the high ground. You know, you have this buried in your hind brain. You gotta tell me. <laughs> you acted before I could dispense <laughs> knowledge. Now you gotta go back. Well, how do you know this one? Is this the wrong door? What are you doing? I know what I'm doing. No, you don't. Get that See? Pill. See? Now go. Oh, and then I can fly. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Trust me, man. 
I'm good in the clutch. See? <laughs> what now? E6, Pob. Mm. Oh, let's enjoy the. Oh, what's up with that? We got the psycho wave now. I think they're invulnerable. No. Nothing is invulnerable to Bert. Well, except those. <laughs> Right. Well, at least now we know it's not instant death. Good, That's good, good job. Okay. How's there a waterfall? Shh, don't ask questions, man. I mean, you remember Wizards and Warriors, right? Anything can happen in a tree. That's true. Yeah. Now, if I remember this from back in the day, we just let these guys do their thing. If you don't, they'll just regenerate. And then they hit us. I want to see. So they don't attack you though, can you? No. So how did you figure that out as a kid? I had like the advantage control with the turbo button, so I left that sitting for like two hours and then I think my brother or someone knocked the button loose, so it stopped and then I came back and they were dead. See? Something about this happy-go-luckiness music reminds me of Wonder Boy in Monster Worlds, which is a sweet game. I think that was the one I was trying to remember from the Wait, is that a gl oh, I thought he was like glitching, yeah. right? All right, I'm just gonna get right up in his face. Oh boy. Can you get behind him and like hit him in the ankles? Well, uh, guess you'll find out. I don't know, man. Let's see. Yeah, now, just... now I can divorce myself of the fear of falling since you, you've done that. When me and my brother were learning to ice skate, or I was learning to ice skate rather, uh, he taught me the secret technique of just diving on the ground like a maniac to get comfortable with the idea of falling. And then it's alright. So you have done that for me by falling into the water. Oh. oh. Okay. okay, well this guy I can beat. <laughs> like how they have a unique background. Mountains. And oh yeah, that's right, because every other level had one particular background for all the doors. This is... Okay. Um, oh yeah. What's up now? I got him. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> nice. And the key. Alright. Get the fuck out of there. He's cutting it close. <laughs> oh. oh, what? No, he didn't... He didn't obey the proper laws of physics there. Okay. Come on, that's not right! Alright, just go in that door. <laughs> See? Everything. I like to make it tense. That's what we call entertainment. <laughs> Uh, I think I remember this being an annoying maze. This is like um, Transylvania in DuckTales, right? To test your mind. But I do remember they give you a lot of pills for this stage. Do you remember the secret? No, usually it's just kind of random door picking and see what happens. I think I might have picked the right door though. I'm gonna do this quick. Oh shit! Nice. Dude, you crushed that guy. Shot him in the face. Alright, now, how the hell do we get out of here? You're letting your face out of my... Um, far left. I think this is it. Yep. Oh, yeah! Not bad for not having any idea what we're doing. No. I can't even say, oh, I'm pretending I don't know. It's I just never remember where to go. It's just... Luck. Sometimes that takes like an hour. Not today. Not today. What do we say to death? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> oh hell, but that, that hockey guy is not obeying the rules of this game. I think it's oh. like a fencer. You might be right. Alright, check that door. Alright, Royce. What's up, Royce? In a bed? I feel bad, man. Oh. He's having his beauty rest and I had to Royce come fuck it up. He's pissed off. I would be too. Now Royce is dead. <laughs> the bed is mine. I like how he's got like crazy alien computer chips. He likes to see where the future is going. Oh. oh. Alright. <sighs> I think it's like his uh, chest piece. Approach or yeah. whatever. Ah, uh, tease. Dick. Do you want to get some hearts? No, man. No. I'm hoping. Where do you go? See? See? Okay. It's cool, man. It's cool. <gasps> See what no. happened. No! <laughs> Should've just gotten a pill. 
you fly into freedom, but no. Oh, I have the key already. What am I doing? What am I doing? That's why I don't know what you're doing. I got this. And I'm going to leave you with the bounty of life. Smorgasbord. <laughs> veritable Taj Mahal life. I don't know if you can quantify life in Taj Mahal. There you go. Got this. Alright, I think we're in pretty good shape. I left you in about the best possible shape. I'd actually be able to max out for the first time in Monster Party history. I'm sure this has never happened ever in this game. I think you're probably just gonna be like one life shy. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. The game cannot let that stand. I blame you. Apparently they uh, worship Jesus Christ here as well in Monstrosa Land. And the serpent. Serpent in the church. What do you think about that? Mm. Yeah. Uh, now they're into astrology. You ever see that wife swap episode? Oh, the Christian lady? Yeah, who's yeah. in like the Wiccan. I mean, she's like a dark sided stuff. Say, <laughs> like, hey, what's going on? There we go. This is. Yeah. I think he should, he's in the wrong stage. Yeah, man. Should've been You're right. Here. You're right. It's pretty scary, though. Yeah, I think his eyes are bleeding. There you go. Alright, alright, now let's get the hell out of here. Ah, uh, can't the see weed the sparkles. Of, the weed of crime bears bitter fruit, you old hag. <laughs> okay. Thank All right. You. If you screw this up, you're not a real monster part monster party. Party. Yes. Why is his nose the weak spot? I swear, all demons are weak. Oh, you got this. Yes. Nice. Not so bad. Not so bad. Not so bad. Yes. <laughs> and the world was saved. Mark went home. Get Game the fuck out. Oh, nice. <laughs> hey, well, I'm not sure if Mark's, Mark's old enough for this. Uh-oh. Why are the walls bleeding? <laughs> oh, whoa. It's fucked this up. This kid's nightmares, man. Yeah, Ooh, look at that. Really, oh, gonna... man, what? Now, is he melting or do they, like, turn him into, like, Mark Monster, which is actually an upgrade? <laughs> doesn't seem too happy about it. Oh, of no. Course. We're not going for the Mario 2 ending, are we? Hell yeah. It's a pretty rough way to sleep, which is like huge open window with sun in your face. It'd be funny if like next to the bed was just like a huge bottle of pills like <laughs> strewn about. Oh, <laughs> oh fuck. Your mother's dead. <laughs> Does he need to whisper? Yes. <laughs> let's 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 go again. Let's go again. Let's go back to the van. <laughs> it's like pretty intense music. Yeah. Here. But why'd you go back? You just freed it of its Yeah. I didn't explain this to you, Mark, but it's a cyclical process. This happens every Tuesday. You know, people go bowling, we go to Monster Party. You have too much to drink, and then your face melts. Cream of Haruna. And jazzy Toru. Dandy. Dandy, Dandy cream. cream. Dragons. Dandy Cream Dragon. It's like a new Pokemon monster <laughs> in XY. Wolf, wolf Saito. Like in Kenshin, right? Roroni Kenshin? Yeah, but didn't Saito mean wolf? I don't know, but that, he was like the wolf the, like of Shimabara or yeah. something, right? I know Bandai. I don't know Shinsei. <laughs> it's pretty sweet music, though. I mean, this should have played during like the final boss fight. Yeah, you're right. Pump you up. No yeah. control? No, that's it. It's... Come back with me. <laughs> that's where we end. I guess we should turn the game off then before we get seduced. Yes. Bert. Alright, hit the power button. So there you go, Monster Party. Pretty weird game. It's pretty good for what it is. Yeah, I thought in the beginning when we fired it up, um, my initial impression was it's like a worse Goonies 2 or something. But it actually turned out to be pretty complicated in the game mechanics and well balanced, I thought. Yeah, I think the, the plot itself doesn't make sense for the mechanics that it has, or how it makes no sense for him to merge with a child. Right, why would weaker? Bert need the assistance of a child with a bat when he can fly and shoot lasers? But then the, the, the space eggs that shoot the bubbles would be the end of Bert. He needs Mark for that one enemy. He got to the sewers and he's like, fuck, I need, I need a five-year-old <laughs> with a baseball bat. I think the stages brought enough variety to the table. So you didn't feel like you were really replaying the same stage over and over again. Although, like, there was like no consistency in oh, the it planet. Made, yeah, it made absolutely no sense. Well, what I want to know is like, if the monsters have a sewer system, have castles and chairs and tables, are they really like 
you know, civilized like us, so then are we really just like mass murderers, m you know, murdering like sentient right. tea drinking peoples on another planet? Right. The people in the Japanese school outfit shooting lasers, that could have been their way of like mowing the lawn. And <laughs> since Mark is not in tune with the Monster Party, like. Their culture. Right. Their, their societal norms. Right. And just the, the differences in, you know, biology between the two worlds. I think. Mark just, you know, was hitting like babies and stuff. We, we don't know. Yeah, I mean, Bert could very realistically just be like a... A sociopath. Like or a, like, you know, he's like a tyrant trying to take over the planet. And Mark is his, is his vessel. Right. Yeah, I mean, if an alien came to me and said, Hey, I need your help. Let's go knows? kill everybody. Right. The first question is, like, when do we leave? <laughs> and the second question is... <laughs> Why are we doing this? It does make you wonder how it got past the sensors with the, the blatant drug use and also the crazy demon blood flowing. Especially in the first stage. You know, everyone's having a good time. And then you pass that cactus and then shit just gets <laughs> fucked up. It goes down real yeah, fast. I guess when you're in the mentality of a Monster Party developer, you're just... You're not all there. It makes me kind of nostalgic for the earlier time of, of video games where things didn't have to make, like, sense. They could just be absurd and still be like just a great game. Yeah, it, it wasn't about, you know, making sure you sell X amount of units and it was just like, hey, I got this quirky idea, let's give it to the, you know, the B team and let them go nuts. Anyway, I think that about does it for us tonight. Hope you enjoyed this crazy game as much as we did. And as always, like, subscribe and comment on our videos. And don't forget to have a happy Halloween. Yeah, and enjoy your Halloween and we'll see you next time on Retromancers. Where's the plan? That is the plan. No, the plan is in what better way no, to show No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. <laughs> there was blood on the ice last time. Let's see what you guys said about ice hockey and Blades of Steel. The Budget Gamer and on our last live commented how sports games these days just don't compare to the Nintendo era. Yeah, it was so much easier to just pick up a game and play with your friends, and now it's just this big kind of rigmarole. You gotta prepare to play the game. Yeah, you need to buy yearly editions, you have to worry about roster updates, new features, what they took out, when back then it was just load the game up, pick your team, and hit the ice. Gun Arm Dine and Pac-All 25 recommend that we should also take a look at some baseball games like RBI Baseball and Bases Loaded. Yeah, there's really a plethora of baseball games for Nintendo such as the Baseball Star games and Base Wars, so when we do revisit our sports games comparisons, baseball will probably be the choice we go with. And lastly, Chief Jabroni wonders at the level of coolness required to call it Blades, which I will say is high to very high. Yeah, once you reach the coolness level of two middle-aged guys who play Nintendo games, then you're ready to call it Blades.